Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 19th of August 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, raise your consciousness, understand why you are here, come out of that spiritual closet to step onto your path that um, where you can take back charge of your destiny so you can spread your wings and soar. Now, this week we're going to be using Denise Lynn's Sacred Traveller Oracle cards. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, um, I am going to be teaching Angelic Craig Key uh, 1 and 2 um, on the 14th and 15th of September. And I'd love to invite you to come and join me here in Dartford um, on that training. Angelic Craigie is one of the best things that ever happened to me and to all those that I've taught. They just love using it. Um, so if you feel called to connect more with the angelic realms, to learn a healing modality that you can use on yourself and your close family, friends and pets, then do check out um, the workshop and if you want to take it further and do three and four practitioners or maybe even teacher then that's something you can you can also look at so please do check that out so as always i'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless oh and also in november i'm going to be uh, teaching future life progression as well so if you want to learn to take people forwards and backwards in time and experience going backwards and forwards in time yourself do check out that training as well, all on my website. Anyway, what does everyone who's watching this need? Okay, we'll go with that card. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? The week, this week commences in the 19th of August, 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? This week commences in the 19th of August, 2024. So we've already had one card that wanted to come out and make itself known. So let's have a look. So we have got fogged in, go slow, take time. And that was the one that jumped out. We have got joy and delight, open your heart to joy. Isn't that pretty? And we've got wondrous universe, walk in beauty. Isn't that amazing? Um, I love the colours on that card. So what the angels are saying for you um, this week is that this is not the time to rush things. This is a time to go slow. Take your time, um, you know, and if you feel that you're not sure which direction to go and you feel like you're, you're fogged in, you haven't got a clear vision, then don't worry. Um, this is ideal at this time because it's giving you the time to actually get your bearings, to know who you are, what you're doing, where you are going. So just go slow, allow yourself to be guided, to take that time to find your way forward. Um, you know, there will be a clear um, time ahead when the fog parts um, and the uh, mists lift and you will see exactly where you're going, what you're doing. But now is not the time to rush forward with that. Um, you know, they're also saying this week, you know, open your heart to joy. Open your heart to the beauty that is, you know, and, you know, by being fogged in and taking the time to go slow gives you that chance to open your heart, to actually see the joy and beauty in everything, even the fog. You know, you can find joy and beauty um, in that because that the joy and beauty of that is it's allowing you to take that time to go within, to see, to understand, to know yourself. You know, take joy in when the sun comes out, when we get some rain, you know, all those little, little things. Um, you know, what makes your heart sing? What, what gives you joy? Is it reading a favourite book, watching a TV programme, spending time with, with, with other people that, that, that you love? You know, 
Is it just taking, drinking some water? You know, what is it that lights up your heart and gives you joy? That is, that is what you need to be concentrating um, on this week. And to actually walk in the beauty of yourself, walk in the beauty of, of the world, of the universe, you know, get out in nature, see what's out there, the beauty, the wonder of it. Again, because you're taking your time, you're going slow, that gives you the chance to see the wonder and beauty of everything around you. And when you see that beauty and that joy and that wonder around you, you walk in that, you accept it, you feel it in every part of your being, you breathe it in and you find that joy within your heart. That will also help, you know, get things clearer, will help that fog, um, that mist to lift um, quicker for you so that your path ahead will be illuminated um, sooner um, than you possibly possibly think. So it's not rushing towards it, it's taking your time, but when you take your time and you walk in that joy, that wonder, you do things that light you up and you see the beauty and grace in everything, that makes that path so much clearer for you. So yeah, really that's that's all they're saying for me, saying for me this week, um, is that uh, take your time. Don't worry about not knowing where you're going or what you're doing. Just take your time with it. Go within, you know, do things that light and, and fill you up with joy and happiness and walk in that beauty of being you and in this beautiful world um, that, you know, that we live in when you, when you get out in nature and you see the beauty in things, you know watch uplifting programs and um and things on social media you know don't don't worry about all the negative stuff that's that's going on that's just part and parcel that that is going on just concentrate you know that fog you, yeah that fog this week will help you block out all those things so that you can concentrate on the wonder and the joy and the beauty of the world and who you truly are so as always, this was my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely indifferent, indifferent interpretation that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. Um, so if you get a different interpretation, let me know. Let me know if the cards resonated. I always reply to everyone who um, comments or um, connects with me uh, publicly or privately. So the cards again are fogged in. Go slow, take time. Joy and delight, open your heart to joy. Wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed those cards. And of course, you know, if you enjoy what I, what I do, then please feel free to reach out and connect with me. I'd love to hear from you, to connect with you, um, you know, and do check out everything I have to offer. You, you know, I practice angelic Reiki. I practice future life and past life, divine presence, angel oracle cards, guided meditations. And I love teaching and I really would love to teach you um, angelic Reiki and future life. Um, progression so please do check them out and of course don't forget to check out my show Angels and Destiny if you continue if you watch it regularly thank you so much for your continued support if you've never watched it before then do then do check it out um, if you're watching this on Sunday then it goes out tomorrow Monday the 19th at 8 p.m UK time 12 p.m um, Pacific and 3 p.m Eastern um, my guest is going to be the beautiful Sally Hart. She was a previous guest. She's agreed to come back on my show. So I'm really looking forward to having another conversation um, with her. You can check out previous shows here on Facebook or YouTube. I mean, it'll be lovely to, um, for you to join us um, live uh, on, on the show. And obviously not live on screen. You'll obviously be in the comments and watch, watch the show live. So have a wonderful week. 
Um, don't forget, Monday the 19th, we do have a full moon and there's lots of um, astrology out there. It's going to be a big one. Um, so do read uh, up on, on that. I can recommend um, Raphael Ray from Radiant uh, Reality, Cara Melendi, Melendi um, obviously Pam Gregory does stuff. Um, so, you know, there are lots of people that can give you the update and the info on what's going on at the moment. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.